If you want to take your business to the next level, you need to start using contracts. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Freddy Espinoza with Freestyle Living based out of Farmersville, California. And today I'm going to be telling you why I love using contracts and why you need them for your business. For the people who don't know about contracts, basically it's just an agreement between two people on a service that will be provided on a certain time or on a certain date. And you guys go ahead and sign this piece of paper that agrees that you guys agree on what you agreed on. A contract can make you easily $100 or $5,000 all depending on the service you're providing and what that contract agreement is saying. But should you start using contracts for your business? Most definitely. It saved me from a ton of problems that I had in the beginning of my business when I wasn't using contracts. You're probably wondering what problems did he run into? Well, let me tell you. The first problem I ever had was not getting paid in full. And honestly, that was the worst feeling ever. I went to the event, I did the full event, I only got paid the deposit, and honestly it was only $200 and then I was left out $1,300 at the end of that event and I felt so bad that I was like how can I prevent this so I went ahead and changed my contract so what I went ahead and did was instead of collecting the money one day before the event I put on my contract you needed to pay two weeks before the event and that saved me from a lot of problems because people weren't paying the week of so then it gave them another week in order to pay me and usually people come through when you bu not bug them but sent them a reminder more than three times and my second problem I was running into was not getting the date booked and what I mean by that is that I wasn't getting any deposits to lock in the date. So I was just trusting the word of the client that they were going to save the date for me and that we were going to come to that agreement that I would be there and that they wouldn't cancel on me. But sometimes life happens, things happen and they cancel the event so that I'm left out with no money for that event and possibly even missed out on the event that another client wanted that same date and I could have got paid from. But how I prevented that was with the contract, I ended up putting that the $200 deposit they put down to save the event date is basically non-refundable. And that helps me because at least I made $200 for that weekend and I can pay some of my bills rather than having zero money and feeling some type of way. So what do I think should be on your contract? Well, the good thing is I have a link in the bio with my contract attached to it. So you could always just go through it, modify it, Make it work for your business, whatever business you're in, it'll probably work if you're in the entertainment industry because I have in the details if it's a wedding, quinceanera, birthday party, and different things you can circle which help identify the event. It also has the client's information in the beginning so in case I need to get a hold of them the day of the event or beforehand, I always have their phone number, their address, or um, and their name so sometimes you forget your client's name so it's always good just to look back before you call them and say hey so and so just checking on that event making sure we're still good or if there's any updates on the schedule that I should know about my second line is basically the event information so that's the start time and the end time and usually that's the agreement that I've given them so I said I would start at 9 in the morning and I'll end at 9 in the night so that's where I put end time start uh, start time end time and then I also include the location of the church. If they're going to have a church, I put the location of the venue. So then that way I have both addresses. So just in case I don't make contact with them while I'm heading to the venue, I could always double check my contract and make sure that I make it to the right location. And then obviously the most important part is the total amount, the deposit they put down and how much of the ending balance they owe. So that also is on my contract. And the reason is because sometimes my clients will contact me before the two weeks are coming and they'll say, hey, Freddie, how much do I owe you for that event? So I'll look back on my contract and say, oh, it looks like your ending balance is one thousand five hundred. So they'll go ahead, submit that payment and I'll go ahead and take it. And obviously that event is all paid for and I feel comfortable. They feel comfortable and they know that I'm going to be there. So God is good. And that is why you need a contract. So I totally recommend it for your business, whether you're DJing, photography, catering, any entertainment business, or even outside of that business, you should always have a contract because um, a verbal agreement only goes so far and you can trust people. People are good, but also we're human beings. So sometimes we do things that we don't mean to or things just happen in life that we just can't prevent. 
So definitely look into a contract. And what's one thing I recommend for your contract? Obviously add every detail that you can. What you're going to provide for the client, what you're going to give them, how long you're going to have to take to finish that product and try to include that in your contract. Mine doesn't include that because I just usually verbally tell the client, hey, give me two months and your product's going to be ready. Or I just tell them um, I'll be keeping in touch with you to let you know the progress of your package that you ordered. And usually that works for me. But sometimes uh, with bigger companies, I know they want a deadline or they want to know a little bit more what you're providing to them and not just verbally. So then that way they can check it off their list that you provided it. So definitely add that in your contract if your business calls for it. So if you're looking to start a contract, definitely check out the link in the bio. But how would you like to do your contracts? And definitely put that in the comments down below. And make sure to like this video, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. You can find me on Freestyle Living underscore photography. And like always, I like to leave you with the scripture. All right, so here's the scripture. It's going to be 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. Forgiveness for the sinner. I'm not overstating it when I say that the man who has caused all the trouble hurt all of you more than he hurt me. Most of you opposed him, and that was punishment enough. Now, however, it is time to forgive and comfort him. Otherwise, he may be overcome by discouragement. So I urge you now to reaffirm your love for him. I wrote to you as I did to test you and see if you would fully comply with my instructions. When you forgave this man, I forgave him too. And when I forgive whatever needs to be forgiven, I do so with Christ's authority for your benefit, so that Satan will not outsmart us for we are familiar with his evil schemes. Thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed. Don't stress. Don't worry about the steps. Have faith in Jesus. Peace.